people, we got to get out of this fearful mindset. Everything that is being like put in front of our face, they're only merely telling us what's going on with them. You have to understand that. When you reverse everything, you understand the truth. So nothing's going to be given to you like in plain day. Everything is encoded. So that way you don't understand because a lot more people would freak out if they even knew, if they even like, if they even like can fathom what is going on. They will like, it will be pandemic. It will be crazy what's going on. So they encode everything. Like what's going on with the whole on the 7, 22, 23, 22 portal. I mean, that portal yesterday was a powerful day. It's actually done a lot of stuff. So if you focus on releasing old stuff, it shows that you are doing your work. What it is, is that that was a day to like let go of anything that was keeping you in the old realm, which keeping you underneath the old, the old systems of like, uh, like in that old box, that old era. You feel me? So that's what yesterday was about. So it must have been like very tension. You must have been feeling irritable, a little more, you know, a little high than you usually do. Like more, more annoyances. That's what it is. You were feeling more annoyances. You were overthinking a lot too, I bet. Overanalyzing and over just over, over grasping things for what they really were. You re Things are very much more simple, I realize. It's just, just because a one occurrence occurred like in the past doesn't mean we keep bringing that to every moment, every present, like over and over again. Like, I feel like we gotta learn how to get out of that. So yesterday was actually more good being done for you than what you can imagine. It's like these energy sh uh, portal ships, which is why they cover the sky a lot. So the sky has been covered because a lot of, a lot of, a lot of ships, a lot of planes, a lot of UFOs would be uncovered in the sky, I bet, because this is a very, like the veil is thin. So people would just be able to see things. Well, people who are more in tune and that's disconnected from social media and the matrix. Like those who are really caught up in that, it'll just be like, they can see it and it'll just be, you know, it wouldn't even phase them or they wouldn't even notice it. You know what I'm saying? You ever notice that person, they'd be right in front of their face and they don't, and they don't even notice it. Yeah. It's because they're more entrapped in the matrix. So. They have less con they have less control authorized over themselves or their their will. But a lot is like happening in your favor. So do not like just fall for like tactics. Like you need to be able to have discernment. The people who have like strong or at least medium levels of discernment are gonna be the ones who flourish. Those who don't have discernment are just gonna fall for like little bitty rat, ant, you know, dog trap, shit like that, that, you know, any, that, that, that a baby could see over. Like, dude, like I was in the gym, right? And I'm working out, yo, this is weird shit happening. You know, that's how I'm telling you, yo, like it's a lot of stuff happening. There's some creepy pedophiles in there too, cause I'm working out. And you know, this 13, 14 year old girl comes and say, Hey, are you still using this? And mind you, I'm on it. I just stretch in between. Cause you know how the blood circulates, right? So I'm stretching. She's like, yeah. Now, any of them, I tell them, yeah, of course. You know, I've never, I don't, I don't ever get in the way. I just, or I'll just move aside and I'll work out on something else. These two creepy dudes came by and was staring. I'm like, but they stood right in front of me, but right by her, but they stood in front of me. I, I'm thinking, are they watching me thinking I'm a pedophile? Like, bro, get the fuck out of here. I was going to say something, but I was like, oh, they're going to lie anyway. So ain't no point in saying anything. But the thing is, they stood right in front of me. And it's standing in front of me and standing in front of the mirror. So these two fat, you know, Caucasian, you know, stand in front of you. And I'm like, bro, I don't want, I didn't come here to work out to look at you two. Like, I understand, like, each one teach one, love thy neighbor, but get the fuck in front of me. But I said it in a nice way. I was like, hey, can you guys mind? I like looking at my form. It motivates me, not you. And of course, they stand over there right in front of that girl, like, and I'm like, what the crap? And at first, I thought it was me. I'm like, what the fuck are they looking at me for? And it, mind you, I don't look over in that direction once because it's none of my business. I don't give a shit. I'm here to train me. I don't care about anybody else. But they're staring. They're like, they're like staring like they're there. And this is by the water fountain. They're by, you know, right, right in front of And I'm like, what the? And they're there forever. They sparked up a whole new life. Now they just like they settled, like they moved in, like, you know, like it just seemed like they were just. That's going to be the rest of their life. They spend it right in that corner by the water fountain. But the moment that little girl left, they boasted. They were like, Doo! they split off like it was nothing. I was like, damn. I was like, so they were there for her. These pedals were scoping out the scene. That shit is me. That shit is weird. And I'm telling you, I mind you, I thought they were there for me because I don't like dudes like that standing by me. First of all, that shit is weird. I don't like that. And I was going to say something, but I was like, ah, I just let them. They creepy anyway. Like, cause when you, when, when you try to rationalize, uh, you know, when you try to rationalize with creepiness, it, you ain't going to ever win. They'll be like, oh, 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 they'll make scenes. And nowadays they ain't enough gyms for all that. So now I just be in the state of like, 
I push on, I keep it moving. I don't even like stay stagnant for long because then a bunch of dudes just show up, form a huge circle around you, and then you and then just be like, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, what the fuck? It ain't that funny. Like, what you mean, dude? Like, ha oh, ha oh, 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 oh. I feel like they's playing a simple. I'm like, what the? But my point is, um, it's, I'm guessing. I don't know what that is, but it's just you can tell that the external realm is like changing you can up. Tell a lot about people because they'll self project their own insecurities, so they'll give themselves away. So those creepo, those pedos. Just told me that they're a pedophile. So I guarantee if they do research, you'll find some type of evidence on those guys. Like they have multiple occurrences, multiple sightings, reportings, you know, stuff like that. A show pedophilia activity. So girls, man, keep your eyes open because I realized, man, I thought it was bad, but it is bad. Yo, I'm saying, but it's all good because these individuals are having to be wiped away. So I guarantee after that occurrence, because I don't know why, like, I don't know why, like, I'm just some like black, you know, like some dude, like, why would they want to feel comfortable? Like I would. Never, you know, but my point is because they can still feel energy. They God speaks to them. God speaks to certain people who are still connected. So people who are still connected are going to want to be the one that thrives. Those who try to like fake or try to like pretend like they're connected, they're not really connected. So I could tell that little girl was connected and some told her to stand there because it was dudes like creeping her out and peeping at and trying to like basically uh, televisor, I don't know, scope out, stalk, a lot of different things. So you're going to be noticing things much more because things is releasing now. So the veil is now completely almost gone. That's why they're scared. So anything that they say in the, uh, like, oh my God, this is happening, food shortage, that's just them. Yeah. Trust and believe that's just them. They now, they can't commence their own, what, 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 what they were used to doing. You know why? Because they can't do those kind of codes because they can't make the kind of sacrifices. You ever, you, you see all the stuff that's being brought up right now, all the children that's being, uh, you know, uh, rescued and all that shit. That's their food source. That's what they use to do those things with. And that allowed them to occupy in this realm and do certain things because they'll, def let's just say give it to certain lower, lower forms that will give them permission or, or commit certain things that would make it to where they'll still be able to do certain things. Like sacrifices in the Bible, like they used to show. Remember that? Yeah, that was for a reason. They ain't sacrificed no lamb or no sheep. I'll tell you that. Fuck out of here. You know, he was playing. Sacrifice some lamb or sheep. No, they didn't do that at all. It was much, much different. The truth is coming out though. But not many people want to hear the truth. So I ain't going to really talk about the truth, truth like that. I'm going to talk about the truth and benefiting you. Meaning that this shit is now the error now is about to be in your favor. So nothing that's not in alignment with you can't, can't, can't fl flourish. It's not, it doesn't have the authority to flourish because it's not backed by something higher source. The only reason why I was able to flourish before because it was a test for you. I know, I was like, a test? Yeah, it was a test. So uh, just, you know, reeking the glory and just have fun and just uh, be appreciative for all the great things because it's about to be awesome. All right. If y'all made it to the end, y'all is goats. Y'all was really listening. I just had to tell y'all that quick little story because it shows you that things is really changing because the veil is lifting and the veil is annoying. Things that was like hidden is in plain view now. So y'all need to, you know what I'm saying? Be, keep your eye out more on the, on the open. You feel me? Because you're going to start to see some amazing things. But yeah, yo, man, just uh, picture the sun out because I know it's been hot, but yo, that sun is about to do some crazy things on this planet. So I'm gonna do y'all. I'm gonna do a video on some solar solar flare sunspots. The solar the solar flare sunspots that's hitting the planet right now are so powerful that it is making the vibrations in the Earth ship, and it is making it collapse, which is making a bunch of things. It's bringing so much stuff. It's opening deities, opening doors, opening portals. It's closing certain shit that was open before. I'm saying like it is interesting. There's so much that I can't even grab or I can't even mention in this one video alone. If y'all want to hear more of the stuff that's being um, released, picture Naruto. All right. I'm going to leave you all at that.